So we pride ourselves right here at Beats One and at Apple Music of uh, working and, and collaborating and sharing music from amazing artists all around the world. We take this whole global platform very seriously, but this is a very special occasion for us because right now here at Beats One, we've been joined by someone who is a huge superstar. I mean, massive, hundreds of millions of streams, records, sold. Is that right? Uh, yes. <laughs> it's it's, actually, this is a brand new journey for me, another beginning. So, And, and today looks so special here. I'm a little, little bit nervous. <laughs> well, you know what? You're in, you're in good, good company because we, you know, we're, we admire what you've achieved in China and you know, in areas that have heard your music greatly. And we're excited that you have a record with Timberland and a, and a fresh start, as you call it, a chance to reach a new audience out here. And we're, we're really pleased, Jane Zhang, that you could come through to Beats One and Apple Music and hang out with us today. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so this is an exciting time. I mean, you have a song that is already causing, you know, a great reaction. Uh, Dust my shoulders off. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in some respects, it is a stylistic and creative move in a different direction for you. But you sound very comfortable in it. I mean, I guess we start with that song. How much fun was it making that particular record with Timberland? Uh, actually, I remember that day we we wasn't record that song. Uh, I I wasn't feel good about the song that we recorded, so I stopped. <laughs> I stopped and I say, okay, that we're in our album. This is enough for the uh, sexy stuff or right. the really strong stuff. So I try to do something really feels close to the people and close to the things I want to share because everyone has their own problem. Just just like okay, my my life is like always in trouble. <laughs> all the time so I think that's my shoulder solve is the things that I have to always remember and I always want to share with people around me um, to keep the strength to move on get it off your shoulders yes get rid of it you've dressed it up in a, in a way that is fun and there's a lot of momentum and movement and groove in this record and I think it's always a really interesting um, combination when you take something that's from the heart, that's meaningful to you, that comes from a place that might even be painful, but you put it in a place where people move and dance and they listen to it in a different light. Did you like that combination? Now you listen to that record because that message could have been on a ballad. I enjoy the relaxed feeling because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a Chinese and uh, I'm not that kind of a really uh, good at sharing the emotions sometimes. Not always, mm. uh, especially on the stage. I'm kind of a more um, not always feel exciting. So especially in the studio, the music sometimes can really open my heart, open the feeling and let the music lead the way. So just, just like that's my shoulders off. It all starts from just vocals and only one beat uh, in the in the original uh, mm. instrument. Mm. So everything's simple and easy and naturally. So it starts very naturally. So I send, when I send this song, I feel like original power. Just make things easy and simple. That helps me more understand because these are uh, there are different cultures. I have to start it from the very beginning. Does it feel that way? Like you're starting from the beginning again? Yes, I don't. I don't want to think about the past, about uh, how many things I've done already. I want to start fresh mm. as a brand new person and as a fresh look here. Actually, I am a fresh look here, mm. and uh, I want to like uh, might be. I can sing on the street with no um, with strange people. <laughs> I don't think there are many people knows me right here. Mm. So. Mm. It's another chance to see, uh, to look myself again. Wow, that is a brilliant way of putting it because you've lived, it's almost like you've lived a life already in the, in the spotlight with such huge intensity and drama. And to be able to come here and go, all right, it must have taken a little while or still take some time for you to go, it's okay, no one's going to run up to me on the street here yet. Yeah. Because when I started to uh, think about to do this album, uh, an English album, um, a lot of people says, okay, she's trying to break out another marketing 
and trying to mm. do something uh, like higher than before. I I never thought about this. I think it's another chance to to see how far I can go. And musically,、um, I wasn't started as the professional way as a professional singer. So since the first day, I I learned and I just try do my best every single day. I think I feel more different and、uh, more. Just like a better me every、mm. single day.、Mm. So this is a great、uh, challenge for me to really push me, walk、um, faster, or just trying to see if if I put myself somewhere not that comfortable,、mm. what's it gonna be? How far I can go? Yeah, we are right here on Apple Music talking to Jane Zhang,、uh, who's out here with a. It's a hit record, you know. Timberland doesn't make not hit records. Like <laughs> Timberland doesn't step in the studio to do anything but make a hit record. That's what he's here to do. But you know, you are bringing some depth to this and 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 a life experience that others won't have had. Something unique that we're listening to for the first time. And what's fascinating to me is, I think you said before, you didn't come at this trying to be a professional singer, and it wasn't like you were sort of. It was just like an accident. Right. Suddenly comes out from an. A, uh, a competition, a、yeah. competition. Yeah, like like the, the X Factor, the equivalent of like a pop idol in China. Supergirl, is it called?、Uh -huh. Yeah. So why did you go into that competition in the first place? What prompted you to do that? Ah,、uh, it might just a habit. Always join some competition, and also there's some little gift if you win. <laughs> you did it for the prize. <laughs> It's fun. You got more of a prize than you bar bargained for, I think. It's it's fun.、Uh, it's like a kind of a, a prove yourself. You can do something to win something back, and、uh, oh, to let more people hear your singing. You even nobody cares who you are. You did it because it was an adventure. Yeah, it's like a, you you fly over to the different place, different cities. And、uh, for free flight ticket, <laughs> and the free hotel, and、uh, you can get some new friends and talk about the different music. Everyone has their own style. So、yeah. when when you're singing together, you can watch them on the stage and really learn a lot. Have there been some really challenging and difficult times for you personally? And、I'll, I'm going to qualify that what, that question by saying that for someone who entered a competition of this scale. For the adventure to to get the free hotel and meet some people and basically Jane to have a laugh, and then you go on to have this like enormous success, that would come with some challenges I'd imagine because you wouldn't be mentally prepared for that kind of attention. Has that been the case at times?、Mm, I was scared of when people keep on saying like, "Oh, she's good, she's special, and she's."、Uh, Like、uh, popular at that moment, I I always feel like, okay, I'm just, just me. I didn't, I wasn't feel any special at that moment. I feel scared when people watch me. It's like、uh, they can see through me, but I don't know for what. I don't, I totally don't get it.、Mm. <laughs> so,、mm. um, did you grow up as a confident child? No, no, no、yeah. I wasn't confident. Um, just try to get used to all different kind of situations and learn. And sometimes I cried and because too many things I don't understand. Yeah. But after after that, I like、uh, stand up again with music because I、um, when I come down, I listen to the music and back to the base,、uh, back to the original、mm, feeling. The source. I would just follow the. Follow CD to sing the song and enjoy the music and forget about all the <laughs> all the things I've uncomfortable. You know, it's funny because I've listened to、um, some of your Chinese language albums and your music that you've done, and it, it's not the first time that you've done an English speaking song. You did one for the Terminator movie as well with Big Sean. Uh huh. So last that, year. Yeah. So that was kind of a you dipped your toe into the water there to see how that felt. Keep on searching, searching the best way for me. Yeah. And, Do this album. Yeah, exactly. So, out of everybody, how did you come to meet Timberland? How did that relationship begin? In the beginning of 2014, I started、uh, a special chance to started to、uh, do a song with J Rock,、mm. and、uh, I actually I don't know why I just finished two songs, and at that moment,、uh, 
someone says Timberland's gonna be in LA and uh, uh, let's show him two of my songs to see what if, he thinks. Yeah, what he thinks and if he will like. Um, okay, if he like those songs, see what will be happen. <laughs> and you must have just been like. Go for it. <laughs> Try it out. See yeah, what works. I was just feel. Oh, I was surprised. You, if Timberland can listen to my music, that will be well. Just I uh, feel so happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so I can't imagine how you felt once you got the positive response from him. I mean, mm -hmm. it's one thing for him to hear the songs. It's another one for you to click your fingers and you're in a studio with the guy. <laughs> right. Yeah, and and I totally feel the full feel full of passions when they're in the studio and listen to the music. Because um, as my habit uh, to listen to the music, mm. I will just stand up like really serious and listen carefully and really to uh, think about what which part is um, can be better or is there anything needs to change. But they are just really enjoying the music. I can really tell from their body language. They're dancing and moving and really uh, different way, just different way. So, so they really changed my thoughts to. So to they're think. partying around you, and you're like this. Yeah, at the very beginning, I <laughs> was like that, yeah. and I always on time when I, when we have to go to the studio. It's like, and a, they're not. <laughs> they're the, party first, then <laughs> the music. You got introduced to hip hop time, which is basically about five hours after everybody <laughs> else shows up. But, but actually, <laughs> I I think that's the right way. I, I was too serious mm. when I'm in the studio. I have to really enjoy it, really feel that way. Actually, music, to do music is not that hard. It you, should be fun. Yeah, it should be fun. It must be fun. Then you will really open your imagination to do things uh, really excited for the song you're going to sing. Is it considered a fun thing to do in China to release records and make music? Is it the same kind of fun that they have or what is the general approach to that not always fun <laughs> yeah yeah because actually the uh, uh songwriter uh, about the lyrics and and the melody they're not always stay together ah, and not right, always right. the same time yeah but I, i'd rather to stay with all the different uh, musicians collaborate and, and make yeah, it, yeah and cooperate together and uh, make the music um in one house. And that's why Dust My Shoulders house. Off sounds good because you know you can tell that there was a really great chemistry with you guys. And I mean, for him to be producing across the whole album as an executive. We were sharing the stories about where our life, about the, all, all the bad things happened. Well, well uh, at that day, I was, we spent about three hours to talk about all the bad things happened. And what was the feelings like? So all the lyrics about the bad things, but that's my shoulders off. <laughs> is the album finished or is he still working on it? Uh, feel part, I still working on Little it. Little bit still to go? Uh, just mix part. Just the mixing part, great. Yeah. So 2017, we'll expect this forthcoming new album from you. And uh, have you got a title for it yet? Uh, for the album? Yeah. Uh, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> Nicely avoided. Might and be just my name. <laughs> Nice. I know we've just met and everything, but I think it's interesting that you were so open straight away and said, you know, bad things happen in my life. Like I go through tough times and you can hear that in the song. And, you know, I wondered for someone who on the surface of it has huge success and is living this amazing life, what the reality of it is for someone like you sometimes. I can explain some little things. Like I always walk from my house to the company and uh, Starbucks all the time <laughs> and uh, meetings and the studio stay in the studio and uh, no party no club just work so I always take my personal time to stay in the world that I've built up myself and no one stay with me I just wear on my headphone and listen to the song and try to imagine about the story in this song and this is the special timing for me to change and to think about things in the different way to really i started to join some party last year 
and to go out and sing karaoke with my friends. And when we before we、uh, arrange the work, really take one day just talk and with tea and、uh, some cookies, maybe just <laughs> without plan, without、yeah. plan. Yeah, right. Of course, because when y- y- you're this, the Other artists have talked about this before. It can become a machine.、Uh, yeah, that's the things I've always tried. I don't want to be a machine. Yeah. And no matter how sexy is, sexy this this word is just for my career. It's not for my life. I've always searching for the、um, better feel about my life. I know I might fall. I might make some mistakes, but I'd love to try. How bad it could be! How good it could it will be! 